everybody, it's Kmo from Zerb! And John from Zerb. And welcome to this month's responsive, responsive reading! This month we are talking all about container yeah. queries! Everybody knows about media queries, but container queries are a little bit different. They let you size things based on the size of an element. John, what was the problem with media queries? Media queries, not necessarily that there's a problem with them, but they have a, a pretty defined limitation, and that is the media query responds to the width of the viewport and is ignorant of your components and even the height of the viewport. So what does that mean? Well, that means, for example, if I'm living in a component and I'm John Pixels High and you're Kevin Pixels High, and that container, that component, if we're only going to set it to be my height, Kevin's going to hit his head. That's kind of a problem. Yeah, container queries are awesome. If that metaphor is a little bit too abstract, let's bring it back to the web. So, common situation, I've got some beautiful content here. John always says, age before beauty, he's the That's beauty. Right. That's great, got it well sized, got my media queries in place so it'll resize based on viewport. What happens if I bump in as a sidebar? All of my media queries have to change because suddenly he doesn't have quite the same space in order to take it. Enter container queries. So if our container query is in place, we're able to resize based on the space available to him. Doesn't matter if I'm off screen, if I'm coming in screen, if I'm sort of nudging him a little bit, he's good the whole way down. The same CSS works the whole way through. So John, are they ready? Are container uh, queries ready to go? They're not quite ready yet. You can certainly play with it if you have a polyfill, but at the moment, a polyfill is required. So how did we get to container queries? Well, there were cool ideas like element queries and things like that before then. Uh, even some neat tricks you can do with SVGs. Uh, but the problem with element queries was... Element queries do have a fun problem. So the problem is this. Imagine that I am sized based on my height. And my height is Kevin Pixels high, as we discussed. So I have a, an element query that says, okay, at Kevin Pixels high, resize to John Pixels high. But suddenly, I'm no longer Kevin Pixels high. So I go back out. Element query applies. I'm back down. I end up in an infinite loop. And the browser just explodes. Enter container queries. I'm going to size things inside of my container based on my size, but I can't touch myself. It solves that problem nicely. We don't know yet if there's other problems that are going to be revealed. That's going to take you trying it out. There's a ton of resources below. There's CSS examples on, uh, where are they on? On CodePen. <laughs> there's, CodePen. There's a ton of examples. There's some articles that you can get started. There's the polyfill. Go check it out. Find the problems. Talk about how awesome it is so this can become an actual spark. Yes, and also about how awesome we are. <laughs> Brought to you by Zerb.com.